Before we begin, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Audible for supporting the H3 podcast. If you want a 30-day free trial, go to audible.com forward slash H3 podcast and get yourself some bomb slamming free entertainment on us. Help support the show. Go to audible.com forward slash H3 podcast. With that said, let's get slamming. Welcome back to another episode of the H3 Podcast, sitting here with your boy, iDibs. He is a very popular YouTuber who has exploded by exposing the fucking frauds let's, on YouTube. Let's not, Someone come very on. Close to let's my not heart. use expose. That's a little bit much. He's known as the great exposer. Mm-hmm. He's known He's as iDubs the great that. exposer. He uh, unboxes things. He and, he, and he's got a new series dot, on dot, YouTube dot. <laughs> called Comedians on Razors Eating Crunchwrap Supremes. I think there'll probably be a new episode out you guys should check out. Yeah, just, yeah, it, the name changes. It's not always, it. We're, it's comedians, that's all you call it. Yes. <laughs> but dot, the, dot, dot, fill in right. the blanks. Well, the one we did was Comedians on Razors Eating Crunchwrap Supremes. And you're planning your second episodes with Vsauce. Yeah, hopefully My, that goes up. By the time we put this, mm-hmm. out, it will. Yeah. I would <laughs> like that. Let's time, let's time that up. Little I cross pollination. That. Well, Ian is a very funny guy. His channel is iDubs TV. The TV make, lets you know that he's a little more serious than the uh-huh. average YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a broadcast <laughs> broadcaster. Yeah, uh-huh. but if you don't know his channel, definitely go check it out. He's one of the, he's one of the funniest guys. He's just he's killing. That's really kind of you to he's say. He's a sweet fucking guy. And I'd I, never and say I like myself. him a lot. <laughs> you can't say it yourself, but you hopefully that you have friends around that will just say it for you, and then you're like, "Thanks, Doug." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I appreciate. I really appreciate my uh, TV director friend Ethan Klein yeah. <laughs> telling me when my shit's good. Yeah, I got your back, Doug. <laughs> so, um, my first question for you mm-hmm. is: uh, Do you remember there was this one YouTuber? He was really big. Do you remember Leafy is here? Uh is that the guy who looks like a lesbian? No, no, no. That's a different one. This guy looks like a fucking ooh. <laughs> now I'm going. Now I feel like I'm going in. Yeah. No, he's like a little. He's got like a little chin. I guess is what he's known for. The lesbian's the other guy. Oh yeah, no, I haven't heard of him. I don't remember. Him. Mm-hmm. I remember him vaguely. <laughs> this feels mean. Yeah, this feels yeah. mean. This feels. Mean. I thought it's planned for this to be funnier. <laughs> Let's just wrap it up. <laughs> Call it a day. You'll just wrap it. <laughs> so, Ian is known for like, you're known for your very kind of inflammatory, like, you, you, you're not, you're very anti PC. I would, I would describe you as the, the I'm gay thing. I mean, that I'm proud of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm definitely proud of that. Well, so Ian has this thing. Was it a collaboration? Was is it a Filthy Frank or was it a Max Mofo? That would you? be Max Mofo. So he goes, so Ian jumps into the frame in a Batman esque fashion and he just says, I'm gay. How'd I do? <laughs> it's a little bit more. I'm gay. That's better. That's better. The more first gusto. one was a bit effeminate. Yeah, I needed. Sorry, I wasn't. <laughs> You're good. I need to build my confidence levels. Yeah, yeah. To to proclaim that. Yeah. So that the little meme is now what you're you're that I'm gay guy. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's I really like it. It's it's cool that like. Are you gay? No, mm. I have a lovely girlfriend who's mm. in the room right now. <laughs> mm. Is he heart. gay? I mean, you would know better than anybody. He's a little gay. He's a little gay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. For Max. Oh, for oh yeah. just yeah. Max. Yeah. That's an int- I've I've had relationships like that almost where you're like, yeah. I'm not gay, but I have a friend who I fuck. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. what you're when, saying. When did you have that relationship? <laughs> I think it came out weird. And with who? That's kind of got a little weird. <laughs> but like what, that, you know that. No, never mind. It just sounds bad. <laughs> you now. know that story. You know yeah, how that goes. I'm not. First of all, I've never Don't. fucked a guy. It just came out wrong. But I was saying, say, like sometimes you're like you have that male friend you're like a little too close with, and people are like, oh, they're gay. That's yeah. you and Max. Yeah, definitely. Except we're close. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd actually say I'm I'm more gay with uh, my my friend from high school, Raj. Mm. He's a good guy. God bless you. Yeah. Shout out to Raj. Big ups to Raj Jor. Raj, mm-hmm. you gay ass fuck. <laughs> you love gay. it. He ain't gay. He wouldn't like that. I'm like, he, what, what, he no gay. what do you guys <laughs> do fucking, together? Yeah, what? No, not gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gay? Nothing gay. What no. are you gay, Ila? Okay. So you're, I mean, is your kind of, your style is very anti-PC. Is that by intention or are you just expressing it, yourself? It is by intention. I really don't like being, 
limited. I'm a big fan of freedom of speech. And First Amendment is number one. Yeah, it's it's number one, right yeah. up there with Second Amendment. Yeah. Oh, God, God, I love I, your guns. I have, do you have a gun on you? <laughs> He's nodding yes, but he won't say yes. No, I would never bring a firearm to a podcast. Oh, God. Ian's fucking packed and he's scaring so the shit out of me. Gun. I'll shoot you. <laughs> and now he's going back <laughs> into character. Why? You, Just what turn is away, this character and what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is that character? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like I, I like to think of it as a cholo, but like oh, <laughs> I didn't catch that. Yeah, it's it's sort of bad. It's, it's a bad character. So it's like it's a, inaccurate. Interesting. Have you de- have you debuted that character yet? Uh, in private. It's something you're mm. working on. Yeah. Okay. And admittedly, I'm pretty and sure private. I stole it from Raj, the guy we mentioned earlier. Uh, oh, yeah. Raj. Oh, fuck that guy. He's gay. It's good to be a joke thief. However, only be a joke thief to people who aren't in the industry. Because mm, yeah. no one's going to complain. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's wonderful. Have me get like the funniest friends ever. Funniest <laughs> friends who are great comedians. Get them the drunk. local stand-up They're routine. waiters. Don't ever bring them in. Just have them come in, be funny, and be like, see you guys next week. And then you have all this material. Take it. And no one ever complains. It's brilliant. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Craigslist, get friends. If you can put a post on Craigslist, just <laughs> get, put get friends. Get friends, Elon. Okay. Just put friends. <laughs> I hope that would be helpful to me. She's working on it now. Thank you, Elon. Appreciate that. Um, old, old guy in his, <laughs> in his 30s. He looks kind of kind of intimidating in this podcast. She's got the beanie on. She looks like she's she's gonna shoot someone. <laughs> no, Ela don't fuck around. Maybe it's the black shirt. Ela's a so. fucking gangster as shit, dude. She scares me. We were talking about that yeah. what last episode with Bert Kreischer, mm-hmm. and he was talking about how he, he's his wife is really like a strong, bold, beautiful woman kind of character. And I was just saying like, yeah, Ela scares the shit out of me because we were talking about like <laughs> how we're both pussies. Like in a fight, I feel like I could maybe beat up. 20% of all men. Mm-hmm. And then the 80% would just fucking kick my ass. Like, kill me. Right. And I'm not talking like Street Fighter. I'm talking like World War II, Saving Private Ryan, one-to-one death match. Right. You know what I mean? It still feels kind of good to say, like, I, I can beat the shit out of 20% of guys. Well, the thing, yeah, well. Including It doesn't sound that good, no. Yeah, it includes everybody. <laughs> yeah. And there's some people in wheelchairs who will fuck me up. Probably. <laughs> but my what we were talking about was, like, even though... I'm a weak ass man. I could beat the shit out of Ela, no problem. But, but she would psychologically destroy me. <laughs> you know, you guys can put that to the test. Probably be pretty good video. Actually, going just to a the, straight yeah. up bloodbath. Uh, well, it keeps coming up, so it's yeah, almost like at this it? point we just need to throw <laughs> down, Ela. Yo, you better fucking doubt. I'm gonna get into this cholo character. Yo, Ela, no, look at me. I'll have to exercise. No, it sounds like this, Holmes. Yo, dog. <laughs> you need to throw some dogs in. No, no dog. This no? guy doesn't say dog. So back. you need like he white. says you bitch, <laughs> who are you bitch? <laughs> you need white Don't socks. Don't laugh at me. Yeah, white need, socks. Yeah, and they, bring them up yeah. to my kneecaps. I yeah. actually do that. Yeah. I don't know why. Because you're a cholo. Ela used to make fun of me a lot because I wear like big white dad socks. <laughs> and he'll like pull it up all the way. You're you're sometimes know. not aware of that sort of stuff. I recall uh, when I was younger in my youth, I'd wear the sort of button up T-shirts, but I'd button it up all the way to the top button. Oh, that's cholo as hell. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't realize. I was just like, I don't like showing my neck skin. Yeah, I feel gay. <laughs> yeah. So I buttoned it all the way to the top, and my yeah. friends were like, "I are, think that, are you the, gang banging?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, "No, I." I just, I'm just homophobic. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I just don't want to show this yeah. area. <laughs> I'm shy. That's funny. So yeah. in Israel, Ethan would wear his socks like that, and no one does that in Israel. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm just being me. <laughs> I used to get made fun of a lot, because where I came <laughs> from... <laughs> I'll just have you know, I've held back Everybody like five just of those. <laughs> quiet on set. <laughs> Sorry. Um, when I was a kid... You know, I would rock the high dad socks. They're comfortable. They're cozy. They're white. They roll them up, and it's great. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, when I go to Israel, people are fucking goofing on me. Like I was in the elevator with my boss one time, and he goes, "Nice socks, faggot." <laughs> he said that to me. No, they didn't. Well, no, John said that to me in a nicer way. <laughs> he didn't call me a faggot, but he's like, he he made me feel bad. He yeah. belittled me as a person for my for my taste and fashion. <laughs> you could use an upgrade. <laughs> In well, a now, lot of ways. Now I'm... Yeah. What do you think about that? 
Eh, no, the whole thing's just shit. <laughs> well, you you fucking wear sweatpants every day. I know, I can get away with it. I'm young. I'm a you're young You're not buck. that young. I'm a young <laughs> How buck. Young? I can wear dirt. For YouTube, you're old as fuck, dog. You're old as me, dude. That's why I like you. Yeah. That's, that's, we can relate. Yeah, I'm, you're yeah. more rela- because everyone on YouTube's so young. I'm mm. 31. You're 27, right? 37. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 26. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were older. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quiz me, dude. Ask me about old shit. Golden Girls? You like Golden Girls? I love Golden Girls. What was the name of that? Tommy's? Oh, I guess I'm too old What for was you guys. the last name of Tommy from the Rugrats? Pickles. Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah, that's 90s 90 kids, kids. only. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so when you, going back to the PC thing, mm-hmm. you just, I mean, like, it's, you just, it's. I just really don't, like, I always, I envy comics who are able to get away with saying fucking anything. Yes. Because, like, I don't really care about, um, I, I just think it's, it's kind of, it's, in a way, it's kind of a skill. It's like, to be able to frame your shit. It's a where, tightrope walk. Yeah, and it's, I feel like it's more interesting. Uh, so, I always just wanted to be able to do it. So, kind of early on when I saw mm. the opportunity to say something, I'd be like, all right, if I happen to get bigger at some point, I can always point back and say, this isn't offensive. Mm-hmm. What I did then was offensive. That's funny. Mm. So, so, get off my ass sort of thing. <laughs> so, you know? so, you set the expectations that like… Right, exactly. You already said that. So, yeah. like, this is not offensive. So, so, if President Obama tweets at you and he's like, yo, Idubs, you're fucking offensive. Mm-hmm. And then what do you point to him and be like, yo, Obama, chill out. Look at this from my e- earlier career. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> obviously the nigger faggot thing, right? Oh, but that wasn't even that long ago. No, it wasn't. Oh, I mean, has my career been that… Uh, I guess. Yeah, by the way, when did you start YouTube? Okay, so I started YouTube, I would say, around about five years ago. Same time and as us. Ideally, my my initial thought was, "Hey, I'm gonna be a gamer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can play games and earn money. That's cool." Let's Which do is that. so funny mm-hmm. because you're like the gamer persona is one that's so played out on YouTube, and mm-hmm. you're such a like counterculture person. Mm-hmm. That thinking back to you then is is it seems so different than who you are now. I was playing Minecraft when I was uh, 20 years old. Damn, you mm-hmm. know. I it's it's imbr- it's really embarrassing to look back at it and say, Jesus, not long ago, I was one of, I was one of these. Well, to be fair, I don't think many YouTubers can look five years back and be like, that's I'm not embarrassed. Yeah, not being right? Embarrassed. No, it's true. Yeah, it's true. I think it's God. just a, it's a it's part of the experience. It's yeah. So embarrassing. Yeah. So it's I don't know. It's kind of cool to see how quickly you can evolve and how how things yeah. can change in a matter of a year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're both pretty good examples of that. You know? Yeah. But on YouTube, it, a week feels like a month. Yeah, So a true. year is like... Yeah. So you went from playing Minecraft and then what was the next evolution? Uh, indie games. I mean, in general, I played a lot of indie games. That's sort of where I like kind of found a niche. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get... A lot of uh, a lot of people razz me about that playing games like Overgrowth, which is like a. I remember that. Yeah, it's it's a really cool game. They haven't gone anywhere with it just because production's mega slow on an mm. indie game, especially when you hire like two people to work on it. Mm. Um, but shots fired at uh, Overgrowth. Yeah, exactly. Shots fired at <laughs> really all indie titles. <laughs> they all fucking suck. Games suck. So once you were what what where was the transition from gaming to the next thing you did? Uh, okay, so I I did sort of a a brief news show sort of thing. I wanted to show my face in front of the camera, so I I called it gaming news crap, and I would just hmm. talk about like the the game the games that are scheduled to come out or any mm. random thing like that. Wow. Yeah. Those are privatized, I believe. Those will be released <laughs> from the bad. vault eventually. Are, are the Minecraft ones still up? Uh, I don't believe they are now. Yeah, well, you know that was on a separate channel even because I had that channel uh, monetization disabled. So I Mm. we're moved past that at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking E Dub's Minecraft news gaming updates. I think people would kill for that. They would actually. (laughs) That'd be entertaining. Yeah, (laughs) when the channel starts plummeting, I'll slowly release those, and it'll be like return to your roots. Yeah, (laughs) he's like, holy shit, this guy's desperate. He's a he's a he's a natural at this (laughs) gaming news thing. Yeah. So I, I did that, and then I ended up having a segment at the end of this gaming news crap thing called mm-hmm. Kickstarter crap. Oh. And I would look at a random Kickstarter project and be like, man, this is pretty shitty. 
Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> most of them are gaming focused still, though, right? So then eventually I started just doing uh, Kickstarter crap on its own. Uh, did a bunch of those videos. I strayed away from gaming. That's mm-hmm. when Max sort of like kind of – he left a comment on one of my videos and – That is Max Mofo. Max Mofo, yes. And I did, I had no idea who he was. Um, one of my friends just mentioned like, oh, this dude's verified. He's, he's right. writing yeah. your comments. And then uh, I was sort of trying to be the cool guy. When he tweeted me <laughs> on Twitter, I would like respond like – Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. One word replies and yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, it, you know, he had millions of subs, so I was like, yeah. yeah. It was a, it was <laughs> a big it, deal. It was a big deal, yeah. yeah. Um, but, like, a year went by after that, and then we started talking more, mm-hmm. and then kind of the rest is history, I'd say. So the, the Kickstarter crap, actually, looking back, a lot of those have a lot of views now since yeah. your channel exploded. That series was so perfectly timed. Because when you first started doing that, Kickstarter was just such a fucking shit show. Yeah. yeah. There were so Absolutely. many people trying to grab money with the most, like, asinine dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And I think the timing of that of that series was wonderful. It worked yeah. out well. Yeah. There were a lot of other people who were kind of doing uh, a similar thing. Red Supre and um, a few others, I think. They, uh, they did the same thing, but... Uh, I don't know. It was all, it was sort of up for grabs at that time. Yeah. It was sort of a weird niche. Not too many people were doing it. Well, it's like, it's like a gold mine. Yeah. Because it's like, you're always looking for that wonderful, perfect YouTube video to like talk about that's like so ripe for satire. Like the one we did together about the curing my colorblindness. Mm -hmm. But you go on Kickstarter back then and it's like all, like, tons of gold mine, dude. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like when we started doing reaction to pranks. It's a similar, yeah, it's a very similar thing. And you yeah. guys yeah. and and I, I think, both feel the same way about there's a lot of stuff to look at and there's a lot of suggestions that fans put out there mm-hmm. and you really have to weed them out because I yeah. recall yeah. getting a lot of suggestions that were like, look at this Kickstarter project. And I would look at it and I'd be like, well, this is clearly just a child that <laughs> yeah. can't do anything can operate a web page so like i mean i don't know what you're expecting that's yeah, yeah. you yeah. want me to just go off on a tangent well like calling my f- a child out <laughs> well that one of my favorite emails that we get all the time yeah is like hey i've got a perfect reaction video for you and mm-hmm. then you click the link and it's got like two views and it's like some fucking eight-year-old that they go to high school with that they just want to humiliate yeah. <laughs> and they some just- somehow in their mind they're like ethan's gonna ethan's <laughs> gonna fucking make a vi- a whole video about this guy and slam him I was thinking that it might be fun at one point. Just do it. To do it. Just to surprise <laughs> everybody. To do it. Yeah. <laughs> but this one kid who's just no, he's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Like, that's actually. Yeah, it could. Yeah, I feel like it could end up being a <laughs> positive thing it. if you frame it in the right yeah, way. So I got this right email. Way. Yeah. You start with the email. <laughs> yeah. What if, well, you could actually flip it on the guy who sent the, ne- the email. Oh, be like, you send know me a video. Because like, yeah. a lot of them, a lot of them are very. They're, they'll they'll sign off on their email x blue dragon forty nine. Yeah. yeah. So and like you look also it up on check YouTube. out my channel. Yeah, check know? out my channel. My channel is much That's, better than this gay channel. Yeah. Yo, y'all fucking heard it here. Y'all better back off, e- I deebs. Yeah. He's coming exactly. hard on all you fucking haters. That's actually a brilliant idea. That's a wonderful story. If yeah. you found someone really worthy of getting blasted. Yeah. You, you, I mean, I don't want to give out too many good ideas, but yeah, guys. you can send out a. a, a Maybe a a message on Twitter. Hey, you guys want anyone want someone for me to roast? Mm. <laughs> anyone at your high school? Email me. <laughs> Email me. That's a fucking brilliant forty minute roast video. Just calling out <laughs> all these people. Yeah. It's a YouTube Red special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have a YouTube oh, Red. On. Finally, minutes. something good on YouTube Red. <laughs> yeah. um, Fuck YouTube Red. <sighs> I I I have such a troubled relationship with YouTube. I feel like I've spent so much of my career bitching about YouTube that I almost like. Yeah. I'm out of breath, dude. Just mm-hmm. over it. I'm out of breath. I like lost. I feel like I just been beat down. You know, I've been <laughs> shamed. I'm naked in a dungeon. They're like p- passing me bread under the door. I'm just like, I can't. Just just take me. Oh, I love YouTube. Yeah. YouTube's all right. So we're going to take a quick break. Guys, stay tuned. It's going to get juicy. It's going to get fresh. It's going to stay spicy. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. 
Once again, I'd like to thank Audible for supporting our podcast. Audible is an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original shows, news, comedy, and more. I personally love using Audible when I'm playing Overwatch or hitting the gym losing that fupa. But if you're just goofing around and need something to listen to, Audible is as good as it gets. The book that I've been reading is Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. It's the book that actually inspired the Emmy award-winning Broadway play Hamilton. It's a really fascinating book about one of the most influential and underappreciated figure in American history. For our audience, Audible is offering a free audio book with a 30-day free trial. If you want to listen to it, Audible has it. Go to audible.com forward slash h3 podcast and browse their unmatched selection of audio content. Download a title for free and start listening. It is that easy. Let's continue on with iDubes TV. What would you say is the worst thing on YouTube right now? What is it that's going on there that drives you crazy every time? It's interesting how quickly it changes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Right now, one of the things that really grinds my gears Mm -hmm. are these channels that have a very specific – I mean, you can almost identify them via their thumbnails – 332 dollar water versus one dollar mm, buzzfeed water. that's the buzzfeed phenomenon. yeah that, that sort of stuff blown up yeah. yeah it's crazy it's it's frustrating um what do you hate about it uh you there's there's almost nothing to the video the, a lot of the 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 personalities that are in the videos they don't actually have much of a personality hmm. they are just there to I don't know. It's eye candy a lot of the time, mm-hmm. you know. The most sour drink in the world. It's like it's very interesting of a video. Yes, I'm calling out Wolfie. Yeah, that Rats. was a rate straight up mm-hmm. call yes. out the Wolfie. <laughs> no, I mean I think he's a great personality. Do you that, know that's, what? That's yeah, a good example. I, like I think he's a good personality. There are other people who, um, who they're sort of substituting building their personality with just more shit. Mm-hmm. They're just going to buy more shit, make. <laughs> The biggest gummy thing you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, fill, fill my bathtub with tampons. Yeah. Fill my bedroom with. Wrenches. I guess when you say yeah. that, it's kind of it's like a tech racks almost. Yeah, but like tech racks, like I th- the guy's sweet. I like the guy, but yeah. he has the he has the personality. Yeah. I think I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> he has the personality of a, like a paper towel. Yeah. And he's like, guys, I just filled up this pool of Coke. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I'm going to fly a drone in it. Okay, mm-hmm. I flew the drone in it. Wasn't that crazy? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And then Why it's like 50 way? million views. Your, your impersonation of him was so good. Oh, yeah, thank I, you. What was, you. It did, actually sounded like him. Uh, was mine not good? I feel like I kind of zoned in You just in a reminded bit. me how— Guys, thank it, you it's so much. It was pretty good. Yeah, thank That's you, Ela. Thank you for no I like thank you. Doug. You get the the best part or the the easiest way to uh, impersonate someone or do an impression is you just have like a very specific phrase mm. and you mm-hmm. don't bring it any further. What's up guys? Tech Rex here. <laughs> That's, fucking That's what you killer. do. You don't say anything more. If I say no, anything I want more, I'll more. Screw it up. I want more. Yeah. You have to watch the extended version. What's up guys? Tex Rex here. Yeah. And Tech today, Rex guys? today He's got like a, he, you have to lower your IQ like by fifty points, and then you sound like that, Greg. Right? Yeah, a little bit. What's up, guys? But like, and then and I have to say to Wolfie's credit, uh-huh. when I made a video goofing on him a little bit about the like begging, and he immediately DM me and was like, "Yo, I love your video." It was only a matter of time before someone called me out. God bless you. And I was like, "That's a class act." I watched mm-hmm. a lot of his videos, and I, it was. <laughs> It was very funny. Like uh, I, I made fun of uh, the, the sort of the dick sucking face in all of his thumbnails. Like <laughs> looking at like an object, like right, because <laughs> it makes for a good thumbnail. And I always knew that. Like uh, Max, like filming, you like did some that a of little his... bit in the slingshot one. Well, that was the purpose. Yeah. That was the. But it, it's almost like too meta. I feel yeah. like the people actually click because <laughs> yeah. they like the face. Oh, y- but I feel like you have to be inside <laughs> to get the joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Yeah. 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 But I need some mouth open ga- a gape <laughs> thumbnails. Yes, you do. You do. Um, I guarantee you'll actually get more clicks if you do I'm that. I'm going to put that you to the test. Do that. <laughs> we should do that. I guarantee you will. Well, we're about to do a video together where we make fun of this knife burning sensation. Yeah. If it's, if it's Mr. appropriate, Gears or we'll whatever. make it happen. Yeah. So maybe we could do like a mouth agape uh-huh. double <laughs> double thumb. That might be a little too much. <laughs> you don't want to overdo it. And Elo <laughs> being in the back with like... their mouth open. <laughs> oh, my God. Just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> 
edit but, out our mouths and put them everywhere. But to get back on track, Wolfie, in, in one of his videos, he just drilled it. Every two seconds in the video, he was like, I'm going to do dick sucking face. Like, in his normal video, it was, it was hysterical. Mm. Um, and then I think PewDiePie had mentioned something about him, so he made a whole another video about PewDiePie, and mm. the whole thing was a riot. So he takes it really well. He takes um, it well. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, which I appreciate. I, well, actually, Tech Rex also did. Tech Rex took like a champ, and we were even like, we even spoke about doing a collab together. Yeah. He is a really nice guy. Yeah. Well, at first he's like, who the fuck is this <laughs> asshole? Mm. Which is fair enough. Yeah. And then I was like, yo, I don't remember how we started talking, but anyway, he ended up being a real sweet guy. Mm-hmm. Shout out. I loved him. There's nothing worse than making fun of someone and then they take it so personally and then they sue you, for example. That's the worst. That's a bit unfortunate <laughs> when that happens. Yeah, well, that's the worst. I have an experience that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. I, I hope you don't go through it. No. <laughs> it's hopefully, the worst. Hopefully soon enough we'll talk more about it. It's just we can't the, really talk the about The lawsuit, it by the way. I know everyone's waiting for updates on that. It's still, well, people are like, oh, well, I guess the lawsuit's gone. No, it's not gone. It's still here. Yeah. And it's fucking crazy. It's, it's getting, we're about to go to, through deposition now. Like in two days. Mm-hmm. It's stressful. But um, I'm hoping we switched attorneys. So I'm hoping for uh, to turn it a little leaf on that and hopefully wrap it up. Yeah. It's good that you're talking to people about it or at least keeping people updated. Yeah. Because I know that a lot of people who either, <coughs> you know, were following it or whatever, you know, don't realize how long of a process a lawsuit is. Yeah. And it could be much it's longer from now. Yeah. It's not even really something that you can, like, give weekly updates about. Exactly. Yeah. Like, what are That's, you going to do? Like, what we've thought about. I mean, about, the whole thing started around, like, April. Like, look, it's all, it's, yeah. soon it's going to be a yeah. year already. I've been wanting to do an update video, but it's like there's almost nothing to say. It's moved so mm-hmm. slow, and now stuff's finally starting to happen. But and it's out of your hands. It's yeah. bureaucracy, and, and yeah. your attorneys, their attorneys. Right. Bunch of lawyer shit. I mean, Too look, we, we, we fired our previous attorneys. I'll say more about that. In the future. In the future when this is all behind us. But there's been some just fucking absolute... It's been a shit show. It's been a shit show all around, man. It's been it's been one of the most stressful things in our life. So when people react that way, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Back to that. <laughs> also, when people take your DMs and post it to fucking, like, death fame, you suck still. Can we talk about that? I gotta say, whenever someone does that, like you're you're so Posting dead. DMs. Yeah. You're, you're so dead to me and probably to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Who did it recently? I've seen some people do it recently. Yeah. yeah. Rice gum. Oh yeah. Yeah. When you're just like beefing with someone, you're like, oh well, here's a DM where they said something nice to me. Mm-hmm. It's like fuck off, dog. Yeah. It's a little too much. I I'm guilty of showing DMs. I. When do you show DMs? Yeah. But I I. There are two occasions where I've showed DMs. Um, the first one was with Jinx. Mm-hmm. I screenshotted me um, uh, asking him uh, if he if he wears a new bucket hat each day, and it was just like a question mark after it. So <laughs> that's not too invasive. It's not too yeah. invasive, but in well, hindsight, you, I wouldn't have done it. It's um, not bad because you're not like. You, I think no, the, the worst extra. is when some two people Someone's are actually gushing. having a conversation. <laughs> or, right. You're having when a, you're actually having a conversation and then someone just takes it and shows it. And yeah. it doesn't matter if you were even looking you bad or good. Context. Like, why do you even do that? I don't a, know. But the bucket hat meme is okay. I'll mm-hmm. give you a pass on that one. What was the other one? Uh, the other one was uh, Keemstar uh, in the DMs for the Keemstar yeah. video. That, that was also justified. I give you a pass. Keemstar. I, I tried to justify it in my head. I yeah. was like, well, he, he shows people's DMs, yeah, and I've seen part, him tweet out DMs yeah. before. So I said, hey, if he's fine with it, I'm fine with yeah, it. Yeah, it was well, kind of, what was it? I, in hindsight, I wouldn't. What, uh, what was it he it. sent you? Um, it was basically a threat with uh, LOL at the end of it. Oh, I'll ruin your career or right, something right, like right. that. And LOL That's like, afterward. no. I feel like when someone yeah. threatens you to that right. point and yeah. it's Keemstar, you, you, you get the warrant too. Yeah. yeah. At the time, he was sort of like, he had that mentality he, as well. He was so the evil was, access. Back exactly. Then. Yeah. The access of evil, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Exactly. Well, YouTube has changed a lot in the past <laughs> fucking three months, hasn't it? It goes up and down every two seconds. Well, I, I'm also like, I, after all that shit, I'm just like over the beef. Mm-hmm. I mean, we goof on people, but like the way I handled the leafy thing was 
stupid. Yeah. It was It was bad. But obviously, it was all bad then. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I sort of, like, try to stay out of it until it's, like... You got your in. Sort you of build up. Shot. Sort of, like, emotionally build up and then let it all out in a single video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then never mention it again until you're <laughs> on wonderful. a podcast with someone. <laughs> yeah, tell me all about it. <laughs> so what was it like leading up to the Leafy rant? Because he... N- the leafy rant, the leafy video. Leafy rant. He fucking stole. He ruined rant. By the way, can I just say that? Like mm-hmm. being making a rant used to be cool on YouTube, and then every fucking video he made was the, you the know, fuzzy tube rant, rant number five. Yeah, came yeah I really like the, the just the phrase rant because it it sort of exemplifies like a lot of what we all do on YouTube. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of the times it's just you know, it's really sort of like. Why you guys use reaction? It's like your reaction for a video. Oftentimes, I'll just get in front of the camera and just say a bunch of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing. But yeah, leading up to the leafy video, I was like, I don't know. I was, I wanted to be smart about it, mm-hmm. and I, you know, it was very much like the Keemstar thing. It's like a lot of people didn't realize because everyone decided to jump on the bandwagon after the fact. Mm-hmm. But like leading up to it, I was very nervous because yeah. Obviously, mm-hmm. like, it it was a big deal. He he had many more subscribers than me. Many people told me, yeah. like, this is a bad idea. He, Shit tons mm-hmm. of people said, I don't know if you should do that. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, he made my life fucking hell when I tried to— Well, I did it so stupidly and badly. You were much smarter than me. But, like, um, yeah, it was. It must have been scary. And no one had really taken, like, major shots at him since then. And, like, right, we got pretty fucked up from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's the the whole thing was really bizarre. I was I was afraid like at that point like Keem's uh, avid supporters would you know mm-hmm. you know dox me or do whatever mm-hmm. this or that send in the SWAT team right. But so uh, so that was the thing. It's like the day before I released the uh, Keemstar video, I called my local police and I was like, mm-hmm. put me on the white list. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I said, give That's me a, a call idea. if anything happens. I did the same thing before the Leafy one as well. Wow. Um, it is that fucked up, yeah, though. It, it is. is. Seriously. Like, some people are really just out of their fucking minds. Yeah. Those of you listening who don't, like, follow YouTube, like, it's that fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's serious. A lot of people don't realize it's that serious. <laughs> or in Ethan um, wor- Ethan's words, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, Dag. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you were just waiting in line. You were collecting. You were thinking about it for a long time. Yeah, because I, 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 above all, I want to make the videos entertaining. Yes, like, and that's that's sort where of the I biggest. fucked up. I think right. in my approach, it was rushed. It was hurried. Mm-hmm. A lot of people want to do it out of passion. For me, yeah. it's really like I want to get the entertainment aspect of it out there. Um, so the, le- the leafy on one was uh, the leafy and the Keemstar one. I really like there, – there's previous ones that I did, like the Fine Bros. If I had to take any content cop video back, it would be the Fine Bros mm. one mm. because for me, I, I felt like I was very much jumping on the trend of yeah. like shit on these two Jews yeah. <laughs> and make fun of their fucking faces yeah. and how much money they want yeah. and how greedy they are and that yeah. sort of shit. Yeah. Um, I mean I parodied that mentality in my video, um, so I, I felt like I separated myself. But I didn't feel like it was super reflective of mm. their content in general. Yeah, so I was like, you. eh, mm. I take a pass on that. Mm. Um, but the Keemstar one and the Leafy one, I felt good because yeah. it was fun to be creative. It was fun to do the gnome thing in the sewer. Also, I mean, we, d- we can tell we were, we, you, like you were in touch with us when you were collecting information about those videos, I remember, mm-hmm. and you you worked on them for a while. Yeah, no, yeah. you were you're in there. It was like yeah. a, pro- it's, a it's project. A, it's, it's an actual project. <laughs> well, that's what made him so good. Yeah. And I remember every time you were kind of there. You're like the meme. He was there when no one else was. Kind of <laughs> meme where you got a face in every panel. You know, because <laughs> like when when I was hanging out with PewDiePie and Jack Septicai and Markiplier and JonTron in New York when you dropped the Keemstar. Uh, video uh-huh. and that was when he was at his most obnoxious like yeah. he was sitting on the Death Star and he thought he was like fucking <laughs> was just Palpatine pure evil. just dropping laser bombs calling everyone pedophiles he was like fucking <laughs> reign of terror Yeah, and you I mean and it was like at the perfect timing you dropped this 20 minute just <laughs> roast yeah. of this gnome popcorn eating fuck Right. Oh, yeah. And we all watched, like, they had already watched it at their hotel room. And I think we were busy all day. So we didn't yeah. have a chance. They're like, they're like, no, 
I will watch this 20 minute long video again. And we all <laughs> gather around John's house and we were like, we were watching, we were clapping. It was like watching Star Wars. It was a great night. You were, you were, Luke, <laughs> you were Luke, you were Luke Skywalker that, that night. No, that, that was good. It does. Because it's like a, it feels good because it's like such a project. You know what I mean? I like the yeah. idea of having sh- shit you can churn out on like a daily basis, but like some but like, slow building stuff. is Something yeah. in the background that you work on. Slow cooks always yeah. the best. Yeah. Some slow cooking. Like that, that soft, moist meat. Mm-hmm. But Kimstar has changed so much since then. Well, that's my point, too. Why your videos are so great is because it has impact. Yeah. I swear to you that that Kimstar one and the leafy one had such an impact. I mean, you fucked. You, you, you destroyed them. I feel like you ushered us into the new age of, like, the new age of peace, dog. You're Luke Skywalker. You fucking took down the, the uh, re- Republic, dog. <laughs> Goddamn. You think? Jesus is here. <laughs> yeah, no, but for real, right, Hila? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I agree. I mean, and, but at the same time, you're also just, like, in it for the memes. Yeah. Which makes it even better. You're uh, not yeah. there to, like. I just, it, it was really fun to do that gnome stuff, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I spent so much time in my room painting up that gnome. Yeah. Because it obviously didn't look like look that way at the start. Okay, I spent a whole I night I didn't know painting that. up this gnome. That's and funny. I was like so I had such a good time. I took so many pictures of this gnome after it had the G Fuel logo on it. Wonderful. I was like, this this will be the best video ever after just doing that. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So. Well, you definitely the thing, uh, Ian, if you guys don't know, he, you basically went from like 300,000 subscribers to like now you have 3 million mm-hmm. in, in about a year. year. Yeah, it's, about a year's it's time. crazy. Yeah. Which I, was madness. I didn't, and I really didn't expect any of it. It was, each video that I put out, I thought was like the biggest, like, risk ever. Hmm. You know, I expected after the leafy one, like, um, there's there's a good chunk of my leafy, uh, or my... Everyone's bouncing. Mm, sort of the... Yeah, the subscribers that are subscribed to right. both of us yeah. and bounce out. Yeah. You know what I found, though? When, it's, when I get that feeling like this is a risky upload... Like, that's when you make your best videos. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember the last time I really felt that was the the CSGO Lotto one. Oh, yeah. When I posted that, I was like, fuck. Like, because I knew that was we going to fuck people scared, up. We were actually scared, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, are we making a huge mistake doing this? Because this is like... There's actually right. money involved. This is a lot, billions of dollars, and actual, like, legal... Yeah. Actual oh, legal... Oh, legal ramifications. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, when I... That was like a huge, like, shit yourself kind of moment. That's crazy. That was, that was, I feel like you could feel proud about a video like that, though, because yeah. it does actually have kind of an impact. I, I can say that's definitely our most impactful video. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing was, after we made that video, Valve shut all of them down. Yep. That was like a $5 billion industry. Mm-hmm. And it just all came crashing down because these two fucking numbskulls. Yeah. Pro Syndicate <laughs> and T. Martin. And I haven't told this story, but this shit freaks me out. <laughs> right after we posted that video, we went down to Florida to meet DJ Khaled. Mm-hmm. And we went to uh, Universal in Florida. This yeah. was like two days after we dropped that video. And I fucking shit you not. When we were leaving Universal that night, I saw T. Martin. He was there with his girlfriend. <laughs> and I saw him and he was playing Pokemon Go because it had just come out at the time. And I was like, Ela, that's fucking T. Martin. And I did, he's huge. He's like a big guy. And yeah. I didn't know he's how like you six, even three. recognized him. I was that's like, so funny. No, I, I was saw, like, I, I don't know if that's him. But then. But then I, I looked on his Twitter. He and was he, at and Universal. He, that was him. He was and like, I'm at Universal. I, I was like 10 feet away from him. <laughs> right. And I was like, Elo, we like we ran out of here. Because I was like, I can only beat up 20% of him. <laughs> and he definitely, and he's not right. in that 20%. <laughs> and oh, I like, no, dude, he might have a screw loose. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, th- there's I a good wanna... chance that he would have been like, hey, nice to meet you, but you yeah. never know. <laughs> that was fresh. That was fresh. Yeah, one. it was a week after. That would have been an awkward video. encounter. I was not interested in fucking confronting him. That's but isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Two days after we ran into him at, in fucking Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. That that actually is, that reminds me of VidCon. If you ever go to, go to VidCon, mm-hmm. you're going to meet some familiar faces oh, at yeah. that I know, event. I'm scared. We've never yeah. been to any of those. You might want things. to. <laughs> it's a humbling experience. What do you mean? Uh, well, meeting the fine bros was a lovely mm. experience. You know after what? What was your impression them? on them? Yeah, how was They're that? great dudes. They They're seem very like kind. nice fucking guys. They They're just very came kind. off wrong. I, f- I, I don't feel bad for the video I made, but like, I think they're nice guys. 
and yeah. I and I appreciate that. It's criticism, and it's it's it's. De- I say it's deserved criticism. Yeah, criticism. Yeah. Well, like we made fun that of the I, way they looked, which is kind of whatever, a little bit uh, fucking low, but it's fine. Yeah. Well, it's it, it feels weird because you wouldn't feel bad about you know making fun of the way certain channels, certain people on channels look. Right. But since they're so, like, disconnected... They're not mm-hmm. shit-talkers. And they're, yeah. They just fucked up and had, like... Right. I feel like their intentions maybe weren't malicious to begin with. And then the worst part that was their little, like, spin video afterwards. Yeah. Where they're, they're just like, not guys, very, yeah. we didn't... I think they just have really bad PR. They're Yeah, they're not very charismatic. And no. they... I don't think they had... I guess good PR is a good way of putting I it. I think, yeah, so, that... So you you ran into them? How was that? Yeah, like after I ran making a video into Rafi, not Benny. Benny wasn't there, I don't think. Rafi's the one who wears the beanie all the time. The beanie, yeah. Uh, he was really nice. I I sort of was. Are you going to be in an episode of YouTubers React anytime soon? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, but I That's don't feel too bad about that. I love to see you react to some <laughs> fucking Gangnam Style. Yeah. Um. I I approached him and I said, "Hey, man, can I get a pick?" And you could tell you he was, approached him. Yes. So you were doing a bit of a meme on him. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't doing a meme. <laughs> well, you I told you're like, hey, I fucking roasted your ass. Can I get a picture with you? <laughs> yes. It's a bit of a meme. But but you could tell he was hesitant. So I said, I'm not posting it anywhere, or I'm not posting it with a caption, is what I said. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just me, picture <laughs> with the legend Rafi. Yeah. So I just took a picture. It was friendly enough interaction, mm-hmm. and he said, I was like, listen, man. No hard feelings. It was just a little trend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Or something yeah. like that. Well, that's a good um, way to put it. Yeah. And he was like, well, I think it would be really nice to have a dialogue or a discussion about it or something like that. Hmm. It's a very friendly very way of putting it. And um, and later later during the event, me and Max and uh, a few others, like, we're all in a group setting and we talked about YouTube Red and a few other things. So the whole thing was a very positive experience and I'm glad I – it. it and the reason I was, before I said it was humbling, and it really was, it was like, I felt very uncomfortable because I had made this video about him, and I was like, I'm deserving. It's one of the reasons that I kind of dislike some of the commentary channels out there is that when they go in really hard, I'm like, you need to interact with these people mm-hmm. that you make fun of in real life just to be reminded of what you're actually doing kind right, of thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, so interacting you, with Rafi. When you see his face and you're like, and then you recall real all life. the tor- yeah. terrible things it's you said about person. him. And you're like, fuck. Like, exactly. This, yeah. And this it, is real life. He felt this shit. Yeah. yeah. I, the, 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 the internet wall is no longer there. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. five feet away from him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it becomes real. That's an interest. That's I feel really like also it happens when your channel becomes big because then most of the times the videos you make, they're definitely going to see. Right. Yeah. Like when you're a small channel. Exactly. You don't know who's going to watch your videos. I was much more loose with my yeah. lips exactly. on Twitter and everywhere yeah. else when I was smaller. Yeah. yeah. And now I have to kind of, if I say, like when I was smaller, I would have without a heartbeat said some mean shit about <laughs> PewDiePie. Right. But now I would be like... He's my friend. He's my friend. I like him. Uh, he's wonderful Swede. He's a Swede. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's a Swede. Um, no, I, I 100% relate to that too. I yeah. mean, there was a point when we started making our reaction videos when we were like, we, we would actually ask ourselves, I wonder if they s- are going to see this. Mm-hmm. Like we'd make a video about Vitaly or DJ Khaled or whoever the fuck we're making fun of. It it's a prank a invasion. Dream. We're like, wow, I wonder if there's if they see this. I wonder what they'd think about it. But yeah. then you get to the point where you're like, I'm sure they saw this and I hope they don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not in everyone's head. <laughs> oh, God. Good. Incorporate. I, incorporate fast. <laughs> incorporate. Not yeah, that incorporate. that's going to save you from anything. Incorporate. Yeah. Uh, YouTube's crazy. Yeah. It is. So you think that going to VidCon was an overall positive experience? It was experience. a very positive experience. I think... Um, Did you meet a lot of fans? Uh, not that many fans. Um, I mean, there was a fair group of people. The, the more YouTubers or celebrities or whatever that are in close pr- proximity to each other, the more people are like, it's okay to approach them sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, if someone passes by and it's just that one person, it's like, I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> you guys as a pair, Ethan and Eli, it's like, that's definitely them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I yeah. got you. Yeah, well, I think that's a good point. Is yeah. Maybe that's actually a good point. When they see Eli next to me. It's a confirmation. Then they're like, oh, boom, got yeah. him. Got him. 
I get approached more when I'm with uh, the boys. Yeah. Max. <laughs> yeah. George. The gang. Exactly. When you're with the the whole gang, how do basics there with you guys? Uh, Does he just like hang out? Not, not typically. Um, <laughs> no, not typically. <laughs> he like, but he just like kind of s- satellites out of there. That's all confidential, it's confidential information. information. How do basic I is Ian. <laughs> I'm dropping the bomb right now. How do basic is Ian? Let that sink there's in. some theories. That's one of many theories. I heard there's a theory that I'm how to basic yeah, as well. Yeah, I mm-hmm. saw that. I wish. I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like that anom- an- anonymous thing. We're all how to basic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. I confirm I'm not, but I wish I was. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I love that guy. Yeah. Um, what's it like working with, with Max and, and George and how to basic? I love them all. Because you it, fly out to Australia. Yeah. You go out there for like a month. Mm-hmm. And you work with well, them. yeah, a little less than a month, but yeah, a couple weeks feels like a month. And you work with these <laughs> insane, yeah. this uh, filthy Frank, Max Mofo, and Howdy Basic, which are like the three nuttiest channels on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, and they, and what? And I think your big, your big exposure before the Leafy and Keemstar thing was was, was from yeah. working with these guys. Correct. Yeah. Where your channel just went crazy. Mm. Um. So yeah, what's it like? What's it like? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, they're all very different. Uh, how to basic is like the funniest person on the planet. Uh, he's got a. Uh, I want more from him. Yeah, sorry. Well, the fact that he can just like he's been doing this for like five years, where he just breaks eggs on shit, mm-hmm. and even somehow he's managed to keep that fresh and entertaining. Yeah, yeah. that is just a testament to his genius. Yeah. yeah, he's a genius. It's insane. He's a bit lazy though. He should upload a lot more. Get on your shit, how to basic. <laughs> you heard it. I think it, it, yeah. Right now, it's been I think like two weeks since he's uploaded something. Well, his shit's hard yeah. to make. It's not it hard is. to make. Uh, it's like, fuck it's it. not hard to make. No? What What's about sense? cleaning up afterwards? I mean, yeah, it takes a little while to clean up, <laughs> but like, if you guys don't that's know, what he has that shit about. cleaned up in a day. It's really? not a big deal, yeah. His videos are short, though, so it kind of sucks on short. YouTube. It's very similar to animations. He works yeah. hard. Yep. He makes a huge mess. He spends a lot of money, and yeah. he doesn't get paid very well because his yeah. videos are short. That's how YouTube works. Correct. Longer videos, you get paid more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Max, I'll, I'll like... Like we said Gary. earlier, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for yeah, Max. Max is <laughs> he was guy. watching my videos before anyone else was. That's when I dope. had like 20K subscribers, he was watching my videos. That's really cool. Um, That's... He can, he, he, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny to see actual like, <laughs> I'll, I'll post memes that only people will understand if they, if they had watched like a really old Kickstarter crap. And Max knows all those. He can, cool. he can quote my videos word for word. <laughs> and these people who are like, I've been a fan since 100 subs. Mm-hmm. They don't fucking know the shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's, so he's actually number one I, I do fan. Oh, yeah. Max is a That's legend. Dope. I love Max. Also, he's so up to date with like He everything. knows everything. everything. <laughs> this guy, he, Max. He is, I, I swear to God, if I wanted to like, if there was a YouTube trivia game show, he, he would, would be win. on my team. He Good, if he's win. ever in LA, I need to have his ass on this podcast <laughs> yeah. for a YouTube trivia TV show. Yeah. TV, yeah, trivia. No, like <laughs> this guy's a wealth of knowledge. Like, if I ever have a, a question about an obscure YouTuber, like who is this and what's going on here, I shoot him a DM and he's like, "Yeah." After after like thirty seconds, you see the the blue dot show up, <laughs> uh-huh. and it's like a Wikipedia article. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, thanks, dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we like whenever there's an interesting conversation on Twitter, Max is always involved. He's, yeah, involved, he's always, yeah. always, always involved. <laughs> with some snide with shit. Some yeah. Funny shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always, always in there with the snide <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Max is great. And of course, we don't even need to say it. George is. George, you know, uh, he's just a fucking clown. I fucking hate George. I think he sucks. <laughs> yeah. Filthy Frank, we're talking about. He's a real monster. Mm-hmm. And he has a big drug problem. Yes. People don't talk about that, but he's on drugs a lot. Meth. <laughs> People are going to believe it. Meth. He does meth yeah. a lot. It's a bad thing. Well, they uh, should believe it because it's true. <laughs> he smokes a lot of meth. He he passed me the. Cr- he brings me meth every time when he, we're at our house, and I'm like, yeah. dog, I don't. I'm I'm like I'm married. I have work. Like, yeah. I can't. He smoke was just meth he was you. just whittling on an apple. Said, I'm gonna make a pipe out of this, dude. And I'm That's like, That's actually real. Why? <laughs> Last time, like, he- why we're just <laughs> hanging out? Like, grab a grab a beer or water, dude. Chill. <laughs> have a water, dog. <laughs> yeah. Have an apple cider. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. George but is great. Actually, I was going to say, we have the same story with George. He was the first... That's true. ...who found our channel 
Well, not the first, but like the big, <laughs> really big YouTuber who found our channel. channel. And he, he was watching our stuff from like so long ago, like all the yeah. old embarrassing videos he was watching. That That's stuff. really cool. <laughs> it's so cool. The embarrassing stuff is the best. Yeah. <laughs> he, one of our biggest breaks was when we, we probably were so small. And mm -hmm. George had like this, he was like a fucking god to us back then, like Filthy Frank. And he had a huge Facebook page. And he posted, we made this video with Ainsley Harriet EXE, mm -hmm. which is like what we used to do, these video edits. And he never does it, but he posted that video on his Facebook page. Yeah. And I think we got like, you know, 500 subscribers that day or something. And that was like our biggest but day ever. We were, had like our sub page <laughs> open. We were refreshing. Oh, wow. <laughs> we were like, whoa. That's so fun. <laughs> and he left a comment on one of our old videos. It was like a get wrecked, like one of our yeah. dance videos. <laughs> and he's like, man, you guys, he said something really nice. And I'm like, and people were like, oh, collab, collab, collab. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, fucking, of course I want to collab. And so I was like, yeah, you want to do it? And he's like, yeah. Eventually, when we actually moved to I New York. I think we ended up we talking in, on Twitter DMs but, or yeah. something, but. He he was there. He, he was there when no one else was. Man. <laughs> yeah, like George is is one of the sweetest, fucking most genuine guys. Yeah, and he he's a huge yeah. boon to our, to helping us. And I'd suck his dick. Yeah. I have, and I would again. Yeah, I love that shit. When it's so genuine, when you're like at a basically a low sub count, and like they they if they if they can quote one of your videos, it's pretty good. It's mm -hmm. so yeah. that's like yeah. yeah, that's the best. It's, thing. it's fucking gay when they're doing it in public though, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> George does that in public? No. Max? Max will occasionally, like, try to embarrass me by doing, yeah. hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> get really fucking loud. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You, he's, hey, he created you, dude. Yeah, pretty much. That's his attitude. He's yeah. like, fuck this guy. I'm going to humiliate him. Yeah. It's um, funny, who else was it? There was one other people. Snipers. Snipers. And John Tron. And John Tron. Yeah, right. John, John and George were our fucking... That's really nice. Yeah. yeah. God bless them. It's so important coming up. I feel like no YouTuber can make it to like a high level without some some help. Right. For the most part, unless you're like Rice Gum or Wolfie or Leafy who just like all of a sudden YouTube's like, I choose you. You know? <laughs> and like the invisible YouTube hand just propels you to the yeah. top. Like I feel like you need some help. Yeah, absolutely. And those were our guys. Yeah. And your guys were – you had the same guy. Fuck, George is a saint. George, yeah. Max, and yeah. how to – how to? He's not a saint. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, let's take a quick I got break. Like two, I got yeah. like two subs for being featured in a how-to basic video. Really? Yeah. Only two? Yeah. How'd you track this? <laughs> I mean, it could have been less subs, actually. It could have been you minus. Lost. You lost. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Well. Well, it was great being on the H3 podcast. It was fun. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Remember to subscribe on iTunes and uh, Google Play Music. Leave a review. Um, appreciate you for doing that. That helps us a lot. Thank Subscribe you. to iDubs TV. Subscribe, yeah. yeah check. iDubs TV too. Yeah. And iDubs Games. Okay, now you're asking too much. Don't push. <laughs> don't be too pushy. Twitter.com slash iDubs. You only get two channels. IDubs. <laughs> iDubs Games is the last time you upload on that fucking thing. It's More Minecraft minute. Let's Plays coming up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. We will be seeing you the next time. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.